So, recently, I finally completed Black Mesa, which is a fan-made remake of Half-Life 1. I had never played Half-Life 1 before, I'd never played any Half-Life in, you know, my whole life. It was a pretty good game. It was a pretty good game. I mean, it has aged a little bit, but considering it came out in literally the 90s, it was still really enjoyable. Now, from what I understand, Half-Life 2 basically takes my main, you know, complaints, I guess. I don't even really want to call them complaints about Half-Life 1 and makes all of that better. So, I'm really excited to find out what this one is all about. And obviously, Half-Life 2 is a legendary game. Um, there's like a bunch of games that are incredibly influential in, yeah, gaming development. And Half-Life 2 is one of them. And for some reason, I've never played it before. So, this game came out in November of 2004. There is no remastered edition or anything along those lines. I am playing the game, I think, as it is. And as it used to be in 2004. So, I, yeah, just bought it on Steam directly. And a couple people mentioned that apparently this game doesn't really need a remastered edition either. Because apparently it still holds up and it's really fun. So, this game has a 10 out of 10 on Steam. It's got the overwhelmingly positive rating with over 111,000 reviews. Which is kind of insane. I feel like I'm a bit late to the party. Yeah, you can buy this game for a couple bucks. Like, oh, it doesn't need a remaster. It's perfect in every way. This is one of those games that people have hyped me up for for a very long time. Yeah, I've, I'm a little afraid that my expectations are going to be too high. I guess we'll find out. So the only thing I've done is turn on the subtitles and put the graphics at the absolute max. It was also by default set on easy difficulty. Uh, I don't think that's what I want to run, so I decided to go with normal instead. Other than that, I think we're good to go. Um, so I played the remake of Half-Life 1, and honestly the story was a little bit confusing. Because suddenly that guy came at the very end and he asked me if I wanted to have a job. Is now okay, he asked me if... Okay, he asked me if I wanted if I wanted to have a job. I wasn't sure what was going on there. It was kind of confusing. All right, so this is chapter one. I think it probably does the same thing, yeah, as it does in the previous game. So I don't know how many chapters there are. I did also buy the DLCs. So there's Half-Life Episode 1 and Episode 2, and then Lost Coast. I don't know what this is. There's also Deathmatch. I guess that's multiplayer. I don't know. I bought the whole package. So I'm not exactly sure, but... Anyhow, without further ado... We're starting a new game. Oh, Lost Coast is the tech demo? I see. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Oh, okay. We're back on the tram. I'm gonna lower the audio a whole bunch, man. It's super loud. Can't hear myself think. Uh, if the music is a bit low on the stream, please let me know. But uh... so, game number one starts off with my commute to work. I didn't see you get on. You didn't see me come. What? Yeah. So that guy comes to us at the very end of the previous game. We saw him like I think once as well throughout the playthrough, but it was all a little bit confusing. Well, end of the line. He said something about it being like a job interview. Welcome. And Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. 
I thought so much of oh. 17 Jeez. that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Okay, so in game number one, we had this, we worked at this science facility as Dr. Freeman, and one of the experiments went wrong. It opened a portal towards like an alien, I don't know, an alien world, which we already ventured out into in the past, apparently. However, the aliens were then also able to go towards our world instead, right? So I just saw one of those aliens right over there. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. Alright, they were kind of friendly at the end of the previous game, but... It's all I have left. Find us the remaining urban centers. All right, I'm moving. I thought so much of City 17 that I... This guy seems nice. Okay, okay, never mind, never mind. Sorry. I will not tell you you look nice ever again. Are you the only ones on that train? I've been proud to call City 17 Hello? And so, whether you are here to stay or... All three pixels. Ooh. Here. Got you something. That's enough of that. Okay, sorry then. Hey, bud. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely the face. Never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they, they never leave. You never see them go. Those Welcome. Hey. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban cities. This looks like a fine place indeed. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing... I've got a feeling I can't leave, dude. Parts unknown, Back to Breen well, again. To City New subscriber detected. Hey, what's going on, Ken? Love you, loco. Welcome back, dude. Thank you for the resub. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, these guys are really aggressive. Can I go over there? Okay, I guess not. Hold what? Oh. So this is one of the finest places, huh? I wonder what the rest looks like. I don't think I had a dentist appointment. All right. Damn. Sorry. Can I go sit in the chair? About that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Hey! Great New Scott. subscriber detected. Gordon Freeman. Yo, Loco, enjoyed the playthrough. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. Thank you. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Good to see okay, you too, man. Gordon, I don't know what I'm doing, you're though. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. <gasps> Can I have a crowbar? There's boxes. Get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. Give me a crowbar. 
There's boxes I can destroy, dude. That was about 80, 80% 80 of game number one. All right, I can pick up objects. Am I supposed to uh, do anything with those objects? Dude, I hope the crowbar makes a comeback in this game. Crowbar, by far the most exciting weapon, okay? None of it really counted. Unless it was done with the crowbar. Ooh, that was really loud. Does he know? I know nothing about this game. I genuinely know nothing. For some reason, after playing games for... 25 years? I never played Half-Life. And I'm not, I'm not even joking, you know? You know like you have those videos on YouTube with people saying, First time responding to... Michael Jackson's thriller or whatever, right? Like you have those people that say that they have never ever heard of like the Hotel California, so, you know? I have actually not played this. Pick up that can? All right. <laughs> sorry, sorry, it was a prank, bro. It was a prank. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. Jeez, dude. Oh, jeez. I can't run. I can't run. Yo. Okay, I'll go pick it up. I'll go pick it up. I'll go pick it up. 17. Cicidilla. 17. 17. Cicidilla. 17. Thank you. Thank you, small kitten. $50 tip. I did it. I did it. Hey, thank you so much, small kitten. <sighs> I much appreciate that. That's super generous. As a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking and revision of our genetic imperatives. It also requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural precepts. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy <laughs> is instinct. Yes. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Ugh. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble yeah. days when we hardened our Instinct. Skin, cooked our first meals above a meager fire and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern's walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct I feel like they're very separable. Found to unreasoning impulses. And today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance. And like a cornered beast, it will not go down without a bloody fight. Instinct would inflict a fatal injury on our species. Instinct creates its own oppressors and bids us rise up against them. Instinct tells us that the unknown is a threat rather than an opportunity. Instinct slyly and covertly compels us away from... Yo, are you guys all hearing this shit or like are we all just pretending we don't? Or must be expunged. <laughs> it must be fought to and nailed beginning with the basest of human urges. Yeah! Cut off their ball! Oh, wait, no. We should thank our benefactors. No. No, 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 no. No. They have thrown a switch and exercised our demons in a single stroke. They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to overcome this compulsion. They have given us purpose. Okay, I'm done with this guy. I didn't vote for him, okay? Let me assure you that suppressing feet will be I'm just kidding. I don't think we get to vote in this world. That was a bit of a messed up speech. Not gonna lie. Ooh. Oh, shit. It keeps going with the same little playlist. Oh, never mind. It's gone now. Well, well, well. Would you look at that? State of the art graphics. Hello. 
So this guy wants to, uh, yeah, get rid of human instinct. Seems like a bad idea, dude. Can I go here too? I don't think I can. I have to go to the other side. Access required. A concerned citizen. Thank you for Hello. Concern. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological impulses. With all its associated hopes and fears for the future of the <laughs> I also detect I agree. unspoken questions. The urge to want to reproduce is disgusting. You should feel bad. We me and him are on the same page. What do you want to do next? Sleep? Eat? Talk to other humans? Ugh. No, 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 no. We need to destroy everyone's instinct. Bro! Whoa! Okay, sorry, I was just... I found a ladder. I guess this is what I'll do now. Okay, I made it to the other side. This is not so nice of a place. No. Starting to think we should probably have gone somewhere else. Hey guys. This is how it always starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. What are you guys hiding? Why are you guys so concerned? If you've got nothing to hide, why are you worried? <laughs> Can't believe these guys. Oh, what? Here. I'll bring this to you guys. To comfort you. That's enough of that. Okay then, well. Maybe they wanted to reproduce those sick bastards. Ugh. All right, sorry, sorry. There's one really glowy door. I think that's. W Can I go down the slide? Come on, Gaben. Give me my. Sl oh man, Gaben didn't give me my slide experience. Okay, I'm gonna run. I can't run. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go, Chet. Whee! That was fun. Yo, catch! Okay. Game actually looks pretty good though for it being from 2004. Like graphically it looks pretty sweet. Hey guys. Was that you knocking? I didn't even know we still had a door. Oh, I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. Am I? I told you they'd be coming for us next. I think I'm one of them. Hello. Okay, no, 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 no. It's a prank. It's a prank. It's a prank. Take it anymore. What are they doing? Are they reproducing? Are they repro? Why is he being nice to? That's disgusting. I think that's how it works anyway. I don't know. I'm not married. Gross. Attention, residents. Miss Hulk detected in your block. 
Head for the roof. There's no time to lose. Hey guys, I'm going up to the roof. Suggest you come with me. Don't really know what we're doing. Oh jeez. <clears throat> yeah, now what? Now I'm on the roof. I don't have a crowbar. I have nothing to protect myself. Oh jeez. It's like one one armed benchy over there. Okay, this is convenient. Conveniently placed right over there. Here, take this. Oh god. There's one of those things that's following me right now. I can't run. I don't running doesn't do anything. Shift does not Ah There's no shift. Maybe to change the hotkey? I doubt it. Uh Am I supposed to go down? There's no way I'm supposed to Okay, no 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 no. Ah! Oh no! 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 Oh jeez! That way! Oh god! Ha, no, you don't. <laughs> Hello! D stop touching Dr. me! Freeman, I presume. Ah! She's touching me, Chet. What if my instinct? We better hurry. Oh no! The combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Whoa! Dr. Kleiner said you'd become How many spy. crowbars did she have? She probably <laughs> dual wields crowbars. You might not have a map. She probably has two of them. This way, boy. Uh, it's Dr. Freeman. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me though. Half-Life Alex? Man, a few words, aren't you? Uh, I'm the silent protagonist. I literally don't say anything. Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Alright. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular. Ha! <laughs> Funny. Whoa! You know, escape the city on foot. That's a dangerous route to my father's lab through the old canal. That one's for my free running montage. Today we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here. Doctor Breen's private drink. reserve. Aw, is she flirting with me, Chet? Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Yo, she's cool. I forgot what your name was. But you're pretty cool. Where did she get to? Lamar! Come out of there! Uh-oh, everything alright, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. Morgan Freeman, really indeed. Is you, isn't it? Yes. I found him wandering around Morgan outside. Ramsey, it's me. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal Stop to Stop flirting with Freeman, me, have a girlfriend. Even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loving. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? Barney! Man, Gordon, you stirred up the <laughs> We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? 
because I still have nightmares about that cat. Now, now, there's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh, dear, you're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my shift, but okay. Dude, we had a nice zoomed-in version of his bald spot. Love that. Here we go. Ah, damn it, get it off me. Lamar, there you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst Bro, you, you can't de-beak these things? What do you mean? With your head. Fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Here, my pet. Hop up. What? No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <sighs> uh, calling them animals is a bit of a stretch. Well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. All right. Du, du. So wait, uh, no one's really told me why I'm here now and why I specifically okay, went on. here. But I guess Mr. Uh, whatever his name is, the guy that told me to wake up, grab a brush, and you know that guy at the beginning of the game. Um, I think he's organized all this. I'm not sure. Dude. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. Oh yeah. At least the glove parts. Ha! <laughs> Good one, Doctor. I made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. I can now, zoom in now. See. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit you up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I have a health bar or health number. I modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Oh, all right. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Huh. Is this wall gonna move as well? Yep. Dr. Kleiner's waiting. Oh no. Another science experiment Gordon, gone wrong. Why don't you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word? Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Hey! Uh, that's not who I think it is, is it? Indeed it is, and it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. The massless field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to C1 base and LT orbifold, Hilbert inclusive. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. What are we doing? Why does nobody tell me anything? That's what. No. Gordon, you would you mind plugging us in? Thank you, Beans Maku. It's right there, Gordon. I'm an engineer. I got this. You gonna let Gordon throw the switch? Gordon, go right ahead. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I turned it off and then I turned it on again. Uh, Dr. Freeman, come on. What do you want me to do? I think I should go there. The switch, Dr. Freeman. Oh. Thought I was an engineer. Sorry. Final sequence. Couldn't figure it out, man. Commenting. Now. I can't look. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, no! New 
subscriber detected. Whew. Well, did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, isn't it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon. I indeed did. Right you do, you know, I did a lot. I did a lot. I think I should definitely get at least half the credit. I can see your MIT education really pays. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli. I don't know, bro, if you can handle this. I don't know if you can do it. All right, so they've made a teleporter. Oh geez, sorry, I farted. Um. Once you are safely ensconced in the transmitter, we can begin. New subscriber detected. My character has a PhD. Yes. Hey, thank you, Beans Magoo, gifting okay, us up to Oprah as well. But if we're gonna do this thing, then let's just get through it. Ah. All right. So they've made a teleporter. Excellent. Are they moving us? In three, two. Are they one. making a copy of us on the other end? Isn't that the age-old yes, question indeed. when it comes to teleporting? Ready to project you, Am I a copy of myself if you were to... Best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? It's your head of freaking head hopper! Let me go down! There he is! It's Lamar with him! Get about that thing! It's coming through, Dad. What's going on, Judy? I'm not sure. It seems to be some kind of interference. Gordon, stay put! We'll get you out of there! Something is drawing him away. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? How did you get in here? Hey, take him back. I'm getting him out of there. Catch a swing into the field, and we'll peel you apart. Just lost the What's going on? I wish I knew. I'm encountering unexpected interference. Don't worry, Gordon. We'll carry it. Oh, we're losing it again. The news is I'm detected. all but certain it was Gordon Freeman. What do you mean I gotta get out of here? Oh shit, okay. I didn't go very far, did I? Hey, thank you very much, Hypoelectric Dots! Uh, where do we go? Where do we go? Oh, over here, maybe. Okay, I can run now. I couldn't run previously, because I didn't have a cool suit. But now that I have a cool suit, I can run with the best of them. Um, that was a pretty sick little intro over here. I'm not gonna lie. That was really nice. So something went wrong because of his pet. Het. Uh, whatever the animal was called. I don't know. Dude, you know what I need over here? A crowbar. Is that the Taj Mahal? Do I need to move one of the boxes? Oh, hey! The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back <gasps> in Black Mesa. Yo, Barney, you legend! I'm gonna make good use of it right away. Dude, I can't believe you start off in this game with the best weapon. That's wild. Wait, can it actually be used for crowbar-related activities this time around? 
Oh my god. Not how you would normally use a crowbar for those sorts, but that doesn't matter. May as well just roll the credits, man. I've already won. Ooh. Get wrecked, dude. Donate Donation confirmed. What's going on, Rhoda? Thank you. He says, this is my favorite game ever made. Played through it at least 20 times over the years. Yo, that's a long, uh, a good amount of hours you've invested. Yo, beats Magoo as well. Hitting us up with the five community subs. Thank you so much. Hello. Okay. I'm using another train as cover. I can't go underneath there, can I? Can I go into the train somehow? Oh, jeez. Sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry, coming through. Hey, thank you guys for the generosity, by the way. I just realized the sellout bar is not on the screen. There it is. I don't know where my ammo is going to show up, but it's probably somewhere over there. Oh, was I supposed to jump over from, like... I don't know. It's back, guys. It's back. Everyone relax. It's already full. Amazing. So, I have auxiliary power. Oh, and I can only sprint for a little bit. And I guess it'll be used for multiple things, huh? Not just for sprinting. First try, baby. Did you see that? Ooh. So does the flashlight also take power? Oh yeah, it does. Okay. All right, all right. So I'm assuming flashlight and running will lower it. Yeah, it will drain it even faster. <sighs> A damsel in distress! I'll be looking for you now. You'd better run. There's nothing else you can do here. Oh, it's too late, guys. Sad moments. Um I'm gonna go ahead and Shoot her, Loco? What? What do you mean, bro? Shoot her. Loco, shoot her. Can't believe this. Um, Where are my alerts going to show up? Right over there. All right. There we go. I, I could shoot, but I, I don't think I want to be that guy. Wait, you're saying her name is Rex? You're saying what now? Okay, no. No, 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 no. She's not a Krogan, chat. I'm not that blind. This is pretty sick though, so far. <laughs> Bart! Yeah, the gun definitely feels nicer, that's for sure. I'm not sure what those little... 
like arcs around my crosshair are supposed to be. I'm not sure what they try to indicate, but. Oh, this game, I guess, has headshots. Oh, it's the health and ammo? Oh, you're right. Oh. Don't know if that was a good idea. Can I? Okay, okay, oh, it was a joke. It was a prank, dude. It... That was just a... All right, all right, all right. Can I shoot? Yeah. Dude, that crosshair is kind of hard to see, though. Can you guys even see it on stream? It'll probably be better when it's not so dark or not so light. It's a bit of a funky crosshair. It's very hard to see. It's four pixels. Alright. I went back to pick up some more ammo. Just be Shroud Loco? I am literally Shroud, dude. Shroud who? I mean. Better than Shroud, dude. Maybe I can change it? Oh, maybe I can change it. That's a good point. I don't think so, though. Advance? Fast weapon switch. No, I'm good. Uh, mouse? Yeah, by default, mouse acceleration was on and raw input was off, which I thought was kind of interesting. I changed that one around. No, I don't think there is a... Can I shoot these things out of the sky? I think it won't be an issue though once we go into some darker areas. Oh, I got uh, suit energy back. Interesting. Okay. So I got suit energy back by shooting that thing out of the sky. Probably don't want to attack the boxes that say flammable on them, huh? That would be silly, dude. I would literally never do that. No, it's fine, it's fine. I'll just have to get used to it. I just have to stare intently at the middle of my screen. Who wants some, huh? Is there leaning in this game? No. No leaning. Did I already... Oh yeah, yeah, I already got it. Oh, I will definitely play how I want to, man. Oh, are you already getting tilted right now? Oh shit, you're already getting tilted? Bro, that must be someone new to the channel. If you're already getting tilted of my gameplay right now, dude, you're in for a, a painful playthrough. <laughs> this game is gonna get the proper loco experience, dude. I'm gonna complain about shit you solved 20 years ago. It's gonna be really annoying, too. <laughs> yeah, that's the downside of playing well-loved games, right? It's okay, guys. It'll be fine. There's a lot of hidden stuff in this game, too. Oh, is there really? Okay, just assume... Just assume I miss literally every single hidden thing in this game. 
and get excited when I do find something. I think that's the best. Yeah. Probably don't want to stand next to those barrels. Don't forget that this game was ahead of its time. It implemented new technology. Not leaning though. I can lean in real life. Oh, I work. Amazing. You've never played this game before, Ballistical? Wow. Guys, imagine that. He hasn't played Half-Life before. Are you even a real gamer? Can't believe that, dude. Oh my god, there's a load of guys coming. That's what... No. No. Sorry. Okay. Um, there's a whole... Dude. I'm just gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one at a time. There you go. Dude, if this whole streaming thing doesn't work out, I think I'm gonna become a Counter-Strike professional. God tier aiming over here. <laughs> over here. So they could walk through the blue thing. Why can't I? This game is very dynamic so far, though. I feel like I've seen like five dozen different environments already. Very nice. Oh, my auxiliary power also has an oxygen bar? Is that how it works? When does my oxygen go down? Huh? Oh, okay, okay. I see. It just shows up oxygen whenever I need to... So one of God. Hello. Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by. This is the free man, the combines reckoning. They can talk English. Look, we're just a lookout. For I mean, American. Way. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigon friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Yeah, give me a jolt. Love it whenever Vortigons give me jolts. That literally did nothing for me, bro. I was already full health. Really can't afford to get noticed. Civil protection catches you down. What were you guys here. doing in here? News for the whole railroad. Practicing your instinct? You serve the same Interesting. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. What you say? Sorry. Dude, crowbar. Fucking amazing. I think we should shoot all the aliens. Just pretend they're Krogan. Legendary voice crack? No, that's in the song, dude. Hey! Alright. Poor bird. I'm starting to think that those guards are not necessarily the nicest people. We should have shot Barney. Barney is one of the guards. Hey. Oh, I can't zoom. Okay, I can't zoom in and shoot. One extra one for good measure. Was there one more? Station 12, come in. Oh, interesting. This is Station 8. We heard 12 go down and out. Uh, surgical strike units are targeting railway stations. Repeat, civil protection is coming down on underground stations. We're already getting 
Okay, this is the hardest part of the game so far. I got this. A ladder. Here we go. Oh, first try, baby. First try. Okay. Time for another scene in my free running montage. Never mind. Not a very good free running montage. Yo. They're just running at me. Oh. I don't know if you guys are gonna shoot the boxes. Put them down there. Up. Put them down. That was kind of fun. Oh, 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 man! Um. Well, that's a sound. Oh, jeez. It's very, uh... Anyways. No. 